Okay, so now we're going to measure with the distal a second story, the upper level interior of a house. Now I'm going to be doing it in tandem with the iPad. I'm going to put the sketch in here for you to see. And we talk about the iPad in a step-by-step -step in another video, but today we're just focusing on measuring with the distal laser measuring device. So this is not your typical two-story. It's got vaulted areas, cutouts. There's some angles we're going to be contending with. So it will show you even in challenging measuring areas, the distal performs great. And we're going to show you that. Now I recommend measuring the outside. Now, you know, when we did the exterior, we have a measurement, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to remeasure from the upper level. And you would just confirm that measurement that you took outside when you're dealing with a two-story where the walls are even. So we're going to start on this wall, the butt of the disto against where you want to measure from. You press the big red button, you put the laser on the target where you want to measure to, press the red button again and you've got a measurement of 16.10. 16.10 is the, dis the, the distance of this room. Now this wall is recessed a little bit from the door trim, but we're going to add. You're about six inches in. We're going to add from there to that door trim. And equals takes you to 26.7. Now we're to that, that door frame. We're going to add again plus. We're going to take a measurement from here. Red dot, pressing the big red button. Now we're going to equals, you've got 37 feet. So the distance here is 37 feet. Now you should be adding for the drywall when you're measuring interior walls and they're approximately six inches with the drywall and a two by four framing when we're doing interior. So you would, you would want to add a foot to this measurement. So it's showing 37. As you remember from outside, we're calling it 38. When you measure two story, if the, when you look at the exterior, if they're the same, it's going to be the same distance above and below. Some cases you don't have that, but you'll see that when you're looking outside at the side of the building. Now, we've got to calculate the width of this room and the distance of that, and the distance be that, that this room is from here. So we're going to take this measurement next. This again, minus this is eight feet. And we need to get the measurement from here. How wide is this room? It's 13 feet. So we'll take 13 over and eight down. Again, I'm just demonstrating this so we know what our measurements are. If you were using a clipboard, you'd be using a pencil and paper on that. But again, I recommend using the iPad. Here we're gonna measure the distance of this vaulted area above the rail shows 18 feet. So we know this, this width of this is 18 feet. Now we've got to find the distance that that room protrudes out. How far does that room go out? And what is the distance between here and this door frame? It's approximately 8 to 12 inches. So we're going to move our disto. Okay, I've got 18 feet. If you really want to take the time to really, really push it up, you can add and add. You've got 18 feet. Now we're going to measure the, the width of this room. What is the width of this room? From here, We put the red dot on that wall. Now you want to add, we have an angle there, so I wouldn't recommend trying to measure. Look for a solid space. You can go in the bathroom, you can go in a walk-in closet. As long as you're sure that exterior wall is exposed here. I'm going to take that shot. And that takes us to 13.5. With the six inches for drywall, it's 14 feet. And now, what is the full length of this side of the building? We're going to we're going to determine, I'm going to go all the way to those blinds from the bathroom. Or you can add. If you don't want to get into a sunken tub over here or you have obstacles, I'll go to the door frame and add. So I'm going to shoot at that back wall. 
and then I'm going to add from this position. I'm right here, right all the way to those blinds. And I've got 45 feet. The distance of that outside wall is 45 feet. Now we've got to look at what is the width of this room. Put the butt of the distal against the wall you're measuring from. The target where you want to measure to. You've got 13 feet. Now again, when you go with drywall, 6 inches on each side, 14 feet is the width of this room. Now, we've got to work in this angle piece. You could do it with your eye or you can do it with the distal with the subtraction feature. Go to the end of the door frame. The target's the end of the wall there. You've got 20.5 minus this distance. 19 feet. So we know, and for your orientation, I recommend standing in that, in the position where you're measuring. We know that it's 19 feet in. Now we're going to measure this angle. It's 4 feet. So the angle, 4 feet. What is the distance from here to the end of the staircase? From the angle to the stairs is 6 feet. Now we're going to measure the distance of that. This, this will show us this open vaulted area, but we're cutting all that out. So we're going to take this plus, so it's five feet, the stairway and that cutout. Five feet plus, we're going from here to there. Twenty-five point five, twenty-six feet. Now we're going to measure the distance of the width of this room, much like we did the other one. Put the butt of the distal against the wall you want to measure from, the target where you want to measure to. We've got 10.5, or 11 feet. Okay, now from this, when, when you're using an iPad, you have pop points. So I'd be able, to, without measuring, to be able to confirm the measurement, but there's a little bump out of a foot. When we looked at the exterior of this building, this room bumps out a foot, and this is showing that. The distance from this room, we're looking at that wall inside again. Put it up against, showing 10.5, 11 feet. So here you had, now if we want to measure this, this, this is what the plan of the upper level looks like that you just measured with the distal. And it is exactly accurate. And if I want to give you the the footage, it shows 1461, and you can be assured that the second level of this house is 1461. Now another way to measure this bump out that we, that the pop points exposed for us is, we can take this door frame that we know is square, take the door frame, put it all the way to the end, it's showing 13.29. We're going to subtract 13.29. Where was that door frame? Here. Now normally if you didn't have this angle, you'd have that door frame to shoot to. Now it's showing 1225. What's the difference? One foot. So to confirm that bump out is a foot, if, we, if you were doing this on paper, you would have measured it that way. You would, you'd want to confirm that this room is the same. In this case it's not. It's bumped out a foot. And we found that with the pop points but you would just as easily measure that foot with the disto. Now again, once you get used and comfortable with using this device, you'll have a very quick and accurate measurement of an upper level interior. I showed you real quickly, once you use this two or three times, don't get discouraged if you, if you find it frustrating in the beginning. Stick with it. Measure your house 20 times if you have to before you go out measuring people's homes if you're comfortable enough to use it. But no matter what you do, stick with this device. Put away the tape measure, put away the wheel, and stay with this thing because the more you use it, the more you're going to be used to using it, the more you're going to love this thing. I'm telling you, of all the tools out there, this is one of the best for an appraiser to use. Get yourself a Disto and use it exclusively for your measuring. You'll sit, This thing will save you a ton of time, and as we all say, time is money. This thing truly will save you time and it will make your sketches very accurate. I challenge 
my sketches against the assessors all the time and I always win because I say, tell the assessor I measured your house with a laser and I'm confident in my findings. So again, find the disto. If you need help, you know, I'll find discounted distos at times. If you'd email me, you can email me and I will look at the email below. I'll email, you can email discount at appraiserpanel.com. If you email discount at appraiserpanel.com, when any of these technology devices come on discount or I find them discounted somewhere, I see them for 20% off at times, I'll send you where I'm finding them. So again, you can email discount at appraiserpanel.com and if I find them, I'll let you know. Thank you.